Hello everybody, this is Drew Naylor. I'm going to be showing you something on my homework that I could not figure out. And it was not explained well on the online homework. I could not find it in the book either. Now I'm being generic in case I do release this to the public in the future, but for now I'm planning on leaving it unlisted on the um, discussion boards in my for my math class. So the question is, find a positive value of C, which is right there, so that the trinomial is factorable. Now this is number 36 on section, uh, hold on, on section 6.3 homework. Um, you can actually, in case you're having trouble with Photoshop and pen pressure, you can uncheck this button. See how that's like that? You can uncheck this button right here, and then no matter how hard you push, it's always the same. But I'm actually, I'm getting off topic here. I need to get back on topic. So in case you're having trouble with number 36 on section 6.3 homework, I'm going to show you how to solve this. So what we have is, um, this is 3x to the second, 3x squared, plus 8x plus c. We don't know what the third one is, so we can't do c times 3. We can't do that to factor this. So first we need to, hang on, I have a piece of paper with all the information on it. First, we need to factor it out so that one factor is x plus 1. First, we need to make our little box over here. There we go. And then we need to draw a vertical line and the horizontal line. And we need to write 3x squared and over here we write x plus 1. I was having a lot of trouble with this and the explanation did not help as mentioned earlier. And at the top we write 3x plus, we don't know what's over here yet, but down here we can write 3 x because it's 1 times 3x is 3x and x times 3x is 3x squared. We don't know what's going to be over here yet. But now we can draw our diamond. At the top we are going to leave that actually as x squared. I apologize for any um, shaking or noise as I don't have a, um, I don't know what it's called, but my microphone is connected to my desk. So any, any time I move, any time I bump my desk a little, it moves my microphone. Um, so we write x squared up there and write x over here. We don't know what is going here and what's going here. I'm just leaving those blank for now, but we do know that over here is 3x and down here is 8x. So we need to figure out what we can take, what we can um, add to 3x, what we can add to 3x to get 8x, and whatever that is will be multiplied. Uh, whatever we have, have 3x added to over here, those will be multiplied together to get the other number. Now we need to take 3x times 5x because 3 plus 5 is 8. 3x plus 5x at 8 is 8x. Then when we do 3x times 5x, we get 15x squared. Now don't use the 15 for c, but we want to write down, we want to write down 5x right here and 5. Now we want to write down because 1 times 5 is 5, 
and x times 5 is 5x. x times 3x is 3x squared. 1 times 3x is 3x. x times 5 is 5x, and 1 times 5 is 5. So now the factorization is 3x plus 5 times x plus 1. Now in case you're wondering where I get the x plus 1 from, it's actually recommended on the explanation on the online homework to you to have x plus 1 as one of the factors. So to check this we can just expand this to the full format. I can't exactly, the full trinomial. Um, so it's 3x times x plus 3x times 1. Now the reason why I'm doing it like this is because um, my online homework originally before before they told before the online homework uh, website told me explanation told me about the foil method they just said that this to do this and never said anything about the foil method which is really weird but it works um, to check this 3x times x 3x times 1 now we do 5 times x oops times x 5 times x then 5 times 1 plus 5 times 1 uh, if you can hear that noise in the background that is my furnace it's cold outside 3x times x is 3x squared plus 3x times 1 is well obviously that's that's just 3x plus 5 times x is 5x plus 5 times 1 is just 5. I was going to say 1 but obviously that's not 1. Um, so now to simplify it we've got 3x plus 3 plus 5 is 8, 8x because these are um, the same. I can't remember what that is off the top of my head right now as it's late. Oops. And then plus 5. They're similar. Hold on, I'm editing this video and just noticed that I forgot to write a superscript 2 above the 3x at the very end of my check. The final result of my check should be 3x squared plus 8x plus 5 not 3x plus 8x plus 5. I just wanted to get that out of the way through audio so that no one got mix messed up because of my mistake. Um, now we can compare this 3x plus 8x, actually I'm not going to circle that, 3x plus 8x plus 5 is, in case you're wondering where everything goes like that, then it just kind of disappears. I'm clicking a button on my uh, pen that undoes everything. Now when we compare this, we can see that, well, that, that was my other work, we can see that the original was 3x squared, Photoshop doesn't have superscript for some reason, 3x squared plus 8x plus c. Now, when we compare this to 3x plus 8x plus 5, you can see that it's very similar, except that there is now c. Now, what you want to use for c is c right here. You, you take 3x. I'm going to um, just turn this on so it's a little bit different. So we take 3x squared and we take it and just get rid of the superscript x or get rid of the square and put it right here to 3x 
because we multiply 3x and something else. That something else is what we actually use for c without the x. So you'll want to just use this part. Then when you type it in, type in the answer you want to do, well it already has c equals, but you want to type in the number, the, the number that you multiply this by to get the answer. So in my case c was 5. And I know for a fact that this is correct because, well, the online homework has, um, allows you to check your answers, and it told me that the answer was correct. I hope this helps. I think that's going to be it for now. Goodbye.